For today's video, we will answer a geometry challenge. And here's the question. Given this right triangle ABC, wherein angle C is 90 degrees, and this point, let's call this as D, and this point is E. Now, segment CD measures 7 units, and segment AC measures 24 units. Also take note that side length AE and BE are equal. Now, the question is, find the value of X, this segment X, or DE. Now, you can post this video if you want to give this problem. A try now suppose you pause this video now let's see if you got the correct answer all right so to answer this question we will focus on this right triangle and since we have a right triangle we can now use the Pythagorean theorem so we have here a squared plus b squared equals c squared so applying the Pythagorean theorem in this right triangle with a side length 7 24 and AD we have AD raised to the power of 2 equals 24 squared plus 7 squared. Now, 24 squared, we can simplify this as 576. And the 7 squared is just 49. Now, if we add this, we get 625. And to get the value of side AD, let's get the square root on both sides. Since it is a side length, we don't care to the negative values of AD. So we want the positive value of AD. Now square root of 625, we all know that this is just 25. Therefore, this segment AD must be equal to 25 units. Alright, but again our goal is the value of X and not the value of AD. Now, another concept that we can use to answer this is what we call the leg-leg congruence theorem. Here it is. If the legs of one right triangle are congruent respectively to the legs of another right triangle, then the triangles are congruent. All right. So using the leg leg congruence theorem, take note that segment AE and segment EB must be equal and DE is equivalent to DE by reflexive property. Therefore, we can say, the triangle AED using leg-leg congruence theorem, triangle AED must be congruent to triangle ABD. It follows should be congruent. All right. And it follows that segment AD also equal to segment BD. By CPCTC, congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So this segment DB must be also equal to 25 units. Now, let's focus on this big right triangle. And again, using the Pythagorean theorem, using the side 24, 7 plus 25, and the hypotenuse AB, we get AB raised to the power of 2, or the hypotenuse squared, equals 24 squared, plus 7 plus 25 is 32 squared. Now, 24 squared, we all know that. We have 576, and 32 squared, we have... 1024 and if we add these two numbers we get 1600 and to solve for the value of side ab we get the square root on both sides and square root of 1600 is just 40 so the length of segment ab must be equal to 40 and since ae must be equal to E, B. Therefore, this A is 20 and this E, B is also 20. So, a total of 40. Alright. Now, let's focus on this last right triangle. And sure enough, we can now get the value of this X. So, using again the Pythagorean theorem, we have X squared plus 20 squared equals 25 squared, the hypotenuse squared. Now, 20 squared is just 400, and 25 squared is just 625. Now subtract 400 on both sides, and 625 minus 400, this is just 225. So to solve for the value of x, let's get the square root on both sides, and square root of 225 is simply equal to 50. 
15. And that is the value of this side x or side d e. Therefore, given this scenario, given this right triangle, the value of the segment x must be equal to 15 units. And as always, we are done.